first graders, welcome to religion. Today in religion class, you're going to be learning about the Holy Spirit. We've talked about the Holy Spirit in class a couple times before, but today we're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit is our helper. You should be on page 221 in your religion book. Some things we do are habits. Our habits can be good or bad. To brush our teeth every day is a good habit. To bite our nails is a bad habit. Write a G in the box before Nick and Isabel's good habits. Write a B in the box before Nick and Isabel's bad habits. Isabel puts her toys away before bedtime. Good or bad habit. I think that's a good habit. So I'm going to write a G. Nick says thank you when he gets a gift. I think that's also a good habit. Isabel slams the door every morning. What do you guys think? Good habit or bad habit? I agree. That's a bad habit. Nick always leaves his jacket on the floor. Bad habit. Isabel prays to God each day. Good or bad habit? Awesome. I also think that's a good habit. We're going to talk about what good habits does the Holy Spirit help us learn? Turn the page. A letter from Paul. Paul became a follower of Jesus Christ. He wrote this letter to a group of the first Christians. My dear people, Jesus Christ loves you. He wants you to love others the way you love yourselves. Sometimes it will be hard to be kind and helpful, but Christ gave you the Holy Spirit to be your helper and guide. If you follow the Spirit, the fruits of the Holy Spirit will be yours. You will act with love, joy, and peace. You will be patient, gentle, and kind. You will have self-control. So Paul wrote this letter and is the time when we are introduced to the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Down here at the bottom of the page, we can see the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Repeat after me. Peace. Self-control. Gentleness. Patience, joy, kindness, and love. In the project you're going to do today, you're going to think of what gifts of the Holy Spirit or fruits of the Holy Spirit has God given you? Which gifts do you think you have? The Holy Spirit helps us. Paul's letter is about loving others. Jesus knew that it would not always be easy to love. That is why Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit. When we love others, the Holy Spirit helps us to be joyful, peaceful, patient, gentle, and kind. He helps us to use self-control. So the fruits of the Holy Spirit are signs that Jesus is acting through us in our lives. The Holy Spirit, you can kind of think of as just a little reminder in the back of your head to do what Jesus would do, or kind of like a little angel on your shoulder reminding you to be like Jesus. Which fruit of the Holy Spirit would will help each child? Circle the names of these fruits on Paul's scroll. Someone being pushed down, someone crying, someone ripping up their math book. What gifts of the fruits of the Holy Spirit that are down here on the scroll would help these kids in these situations? I think self-control for the boy who got pushed down, he won't push back. He'll be the bigger person. I think the boy who ripped up his math book could use some patience. 
And it looks like this girl had her feelings hurt. So maybe they needed the gift of kindness. Each of us has these fruits of the Holy Spirit, but some of us are gifted with some more than others. In what ways does the Holy Spirit help us? Let's find out. Here's a story about St. Thomas Aquinas. Thomas was very quiet in school. His classmates called him the dumb ox. Thomas's teachers said one day, quiet Thomas will surprise the whole world. And that is just what he did. Thomas loved God very much. He learned all that he could about his faith. He became a great thinker. Thomas wrote many books about what Catholics believe. People studied Thomas's books. They grew to understand more about God. Thomas read what Paul wrote about the Holy Spirit. He taught people how to use the fruits of the Spirit in their own lives. Thomas believed that the joys of the Holy Spirit could change people. He told people to think of the Holy Spirit as a helper and friend. How did St. Thomas Aquinas help people learn about the Holy Spirit? So he wrote many books about how the Holy Spirit can help us. And just like it says here, the Holy Spirit is our helper and our friend. When we practice good habits, we share the fruits of the Holy Spirit with others. These fruits are signs that the Holy Spirit is acting in our lives. When we do kind acts again and again, kindness becomes a habit. Our kindness teaches others about kindness of God. Holy, the Holy Spirit helps us follow Jesus. The Holy Spirit helps us to learn good habits of showing love for others. Sarah has a good habit. Cross out the letters A and M to find out what her good habit is and then write the word to complete the sentence. So we have a little puzzle. So it says to cross out the letters A and M. Sarah is, we have, what letters do we have left? We have A, G, M, oh, sorry, we have to cross out that A. Sarah is G, E, M, T, A, B. Gentle. In what ways can we use the fruits of the Holy Spirit? Anthony is fun to play with. He shares his toys. He helps younger children learn new games. He stops fights by saying funny things. Everyone feels good when Anthony is around, but Anthony has a Saturday habit. He plays video games for three hours. All his neighborhood friends want him to come out and play, but Anthony says, I can't. I need to finish my game. What do you think about Anthony's habit? Nice job following along. Here are those fruits of the Holy Spirit that were on Paul's scroll. Patience, kindness, self-control, joy, peace, love, gentleness. Pick a fruit of the Holy Spirit and circle it. Draw how you will use this fruit with someone at home. Pick another fruit of the Holy Spirit and draw a box around it. Write about how you will use this fruit in school. I would like you to, to complete this page. And when, when you're done with this page, you can start our Fruits of the Holy Spirit project. I see many of these fruit gifts of the Holy Spirit in all of you. And I love that you get to share them with those around you and me.